This video is brought to you by SEMrush. Guys, if you've ever wondered how to really understand what people are saying about your brand online and turn that into actionable insights, this video is for you. My name is Daniel, and today we are diving deep into the SEMrush AI Toolkit, a smart platform that analyzes brand mentions across the web and gives you a clear picture of your reputation and competitive position. I'll walk you through everything from setting up your project and exploring detailed brand performance metrics. So stick around as we break down this powerful tool step by step and see how it can help you sharpen your marketing strategy. Guys, make sure you check out all the useful links in the description after watching this video. There might be some nice discounts there. Let's dive in! Ok guys, let's talk about SEMrush AI SEO Toolkit. We'll start with a tool called Measure Brand Performance on AI that allows you to learn how various artificial intelligence platforms position and talk about your brand. You get a full breakdown of your brand's presence on these platforms, from share of voice to narrative and sentiment, all through some of the most powerful tools out there, folks. I'll start by analyzing my brand and set the location to worldwide. Pick English as the target language, because my website is in English. And instantly I see the results. There's a section called Market Position, AI Urgent Strategic Priorities. This shows the most important moves I should focus on to improve my market position. Guys, I'm talking about things like capturing the long tail market, which means focusing on very specific search queries for long-term traffic growth. It also highlights expanding the customer base, building unbiased technical authority and improving citation quality. On the right, there's a chart for share of voice by platform. This shows how my brand mentions are spread across platforms. I can switch between various AI platforms or view each one separately. Folks, this helps me see where my brand is already visible and where I need to strengthen my presence. Scrolling down, I see the current market position and sentiment analysis. There's another share of voice breakdown, comparing my brand against others. And I can see that Daniel Blog stands out with almost one third of all mentions. There's also a timeline chart showing how mentions change month by month. My brand looks steady overall, with some clear spikes in activity. Finally, guys, the share of voice and sentiment chart combines both visibility and emotional tone. Bigger bubbles mean more mentions, and the position on the chart shows how positive or negative that sentiment is. There's also an overall sentiment chart, which shows the mood around the brand on the whole. I see categories like favorable and general, and what stands out is the complete absence of negative sentiment, which is a really strong signal. Then there are the key sentiment drivers, guys. This part is super useful for spotting both the strengths and the weaknesses of the brand. I get clear blocks that highlight what's working well and which areas need improvement. Next comes AI strategic opportunities. Here the system gives me concrete recommendations, powered by artificial intelligence. For example, folks, it points out short-term chances like underused high tail queries around practical topics and suggests how to take advantage of them. When I move into the visibility section, I see how recognizable the brand actually is. This includes top visibility priorities, which overlap a lot with brand performance. Things like long-term traffic grab, review-centric SEO strategy, short-form value boost, and so on. Guys, before we move on, I try to make my content fun instead of boring and in return, please like this video and subscribe to my channel if you enjoy the content I make. There's another share of voice by Platform Breakdown, which shows where my brand leads across platforms and where it's falling behind. The share of voice position chart works the same way, and the timeline graph shows how mentions shift across the year. Average positions is another helpful metric, guys. It shows the average ranking of brands inside AI-generated answers. Lower numbers mean stronger placement in those responses. And then there's the breakdown by question section, which might be the most valuable piece. It's basically a table of specific questions people are asking intelligent systems about brands. That gives me a direct window into what audiences want to know. Here, folks, I can look at specific examples that show exactly what the audience is interested in. On top of that, the system gives me AI-powered strategic recommendations with full explanations and step-by-step -step advice. Each one includes concrete actions I can take to put it into practice. The next block is perception. This highlights five main priorities. 
fixing identity issues, improving inclusive messaging, and reducing duplication risks, as well as filling community engagement gaps and building more trust through transparency. Then there's competitive perception by platform guys. My brand shows a strong presence on one, but I can see that PC Mac dominates on a few. The tool even lets me compare stats for each specific platform. In overall sentiment, the data shows 88% of general mentions and 12% neutral ones. As you can see, there are zero negative mentions, which is always a good sign. Finally, folks, there are the key sentiment drivers, where green shows my strengths and yellow marks areas that need improvement. And again, the AI strategic opportunities section points out where I can take advantage of upcoming chances. I've got six recommendations here for improving performance. Things like citation growth priority, where my site gets mentioned as a brand by platform, charts that show where those mentions happen, and the top domains citing my content. Guys, this lets me see exactly which resources are referenced in my blog and where I'm already showing up. There are also more strategic opportunities tied to this data. Then there's the question section. Here I can dive into audience and content insights, topic distributions, and see what kinds of questions people are asking. It comes with detailed charts and breakdowns. There's also a query topic area with research and education blocks, and sometimes even comparison blocks. Each of these sections comes with recommendations too, guys. And the best part is that all of this is inside one platform, SEMrush. It not only lets me track brand development in the age of AI, but also improve and analyze SEO and boost the performance of my sites. All right, my friends, that's a wrap on our deep dive into the SEMrush AI toolkit. It's a really powerful platform that can give you clear insights about how your brand is seen online, what people are saying, and most importantly, what you can do to improve your reputation and strategy. If you want to take your brand management to the next level, I definitely recommend giving this tool a try, guys. If you decide to test it out, let me know in the comments what you think or if you have any questions about how to use it. I'd love to hear about your experience and help you out. Feel free to check out the links in the description below. You might find some discounts there. As usual, don't forget to like this video and subscribe to my channel. Thanks for watching. Until next time.